This episode of Ties I Help is brought to you by Netflix. What's up guys, it's time for the jailbreak update to give you all the latest news on what's going on in the jailbreak community. So I've got some awesome news to tell you guys. If you haven't already heard, the iPhone Hacker Pod 2G now has the iPhone 4 as well as the iPad 2 jailbroken on iOS 5.0.1 and it is untethered. Uh, so this is awesome news. The jailbreak isn't out just yet, but I've been hearing that it should be released sometime next week. Uh, I think basically all they have to do is kind of package it up into a program, uh, make sure all the bugs are worked out of it, and uh, should be ready to be released. Now, uh, if you want to know when the jailbreak is out, here's what you need to do. You need to subscribe to my YouTube channel because that will let you know on your YouTube homepage when I post my guide on how to jailbreak the iPhone 4S as well as the iPad 2. I post a full walkthrough uh, guide telling you what you need to do to jailbreak it. Or you can follow me on Twitter, Facebook. I'll post a video as well as uh, the news once it's out uh, there. And the links will be below for that. So do that. So if you guys don't know, the difference between a tether jailbreak and an untether jailbreak is when you have a tether jailbreak, you actually have to like re-jailbreak your phone if you want to turn it off and then back on. Uh, whereas an untethered jailbreak, you don't have to do that. It just reboots and it's perfectly fine. No need to re-jailbreak. And now since the latest firmware 5.0.1 is jailbroken, I suggest all you guys that have iPhone 4S and the iPad 2 that have been holding out on updating for the jailbreak, it's now time to update. Uh, since the firmware is jailbroken, I think it's time. It's got all the newest bug fixes and developments and stuff like that. So update to iOS 5.0.1 uh, via iTunes and the jailbreak should be out very soon for you. Now, if there's a firmware released uh, before the jailbreak is, like 5.0.2 or something like that, I uh, don't suggest you update to that. Make sure you just stay tuned to my channel uh, for all the latest news uh, when new jailbreaks will be out for the higher firmwares. But as of now, I say you update to 5.0.1 uh, and in just a few days you'll be ready to go with the jailbreak. Now, if you're one of the people who have an older iOS device like an iPhone 4, iPhone 3GS, iPad 1, uh, iPod Touch 3G uh, or 4G, you can already jailbreak iOS 5.0.1 untethered. I actually have a video up on it right now. Uh, if you're watching this on YouTube, you should be able to click right there. If you're not, I'll put a link below uh, so you can actually find that jailbreak. I've already did a full guide on that, uh, but every, everything other than the iPhone 4S and iPad 2 is not jailbroken uh, just yet. Well, it is, but it's not released. So click that if you want to know how to jailbreak the older iOS devices on 5.0.1 untethered. But this is very important if you're on an older iOS device and you're on a lower firmware that's already jailbroken what I suggest you do is plug it up to iTunes make sure everything is synced up so everything is stored on your computer so you can sync it back not a backup that does not work do not do a backup you do not want to restore to a backup uh, but what you want to do is sync everything up through iTunes restore your device to the newest firmware if you just hit restore I uh, should ask for you to restore and update do not back it up do not back it up just sync everything then, once your iPod is done restoring, everything will be cleared out, it'll be like it's a brand new iPod, then what you can do is actually sync everything back up once it's updated to 5.0.1. Uh, if you actually restore to a backup, what it does is it saves all that crappy jailbreak data that you don't need, uh, and it won't be usable, uh, but it'll put it back on your iOS device and you won't be able to see it or use it, and it uh, just takes up space. So restore to the newest firmware, make sure everything's synced up to iTunes, then manually go back and check to sync all your music, your photos, uh, your apps, and everything like that up manually. Then you should be ready to go, and you should be able to do the jailbreak video I mentioned before. And I just wanted to mention this because I think it's a crucial thing in the jailbreaking community. I didn't actually talk about it when it was first released, but now there's actually a Cydia app for it. It is called C Dev Reporter. I recommend you download it right now. Uh, basically, what it does, I'm sure you've seen on your computer where you get those crash reports and it asks to send it to Apple. Well, what the C Dev Reporter will actually do is send those crash reports to the Chronic Dev Team, uh, which is one of the big iPhone hackers. Uh, it's like a team of them. Uh, so basically what it will do is send those crash reports to them so they can actually look through them and it will help them improve and make the jailbreaks ready faster for you guys for the newer devices and, and just for the newer firmware stuff like that. So it, it's basically just going to improve the jailbreaking community. I'm pretty sure you can trust uh, the Chronic Dev team to be looking through those files. Uh, so you should be safe with that and it will definitely help them to improve uh, the jailbreaks and get them out there faster for you guys. So definitely recommend you check that out, uh, download it and turn it on so they can get your crash reports rather than Apple. because. We want the jailbreaks faster, right? Do it. So other than those few things, I don't really have anything else to tell you right now about jailbreaking, uh, but I think just having the iPhone 4S and the iPad 2 jailbreak coming soon uh, is good enough itself. So let me know what you guys think about this in the comments down below. Are you going to be jailbreaking your iPhone 4S or your iPad 2? I'm interested to know. And uh, that's about it. I'll see you guys in the next one. Let's take one last look at our sponsor 
for this video. With more than 23 million members, Netflix is the world's largest subscription service instantly streaming movies and TV episodes over the internet. Members can instantly watch thousands of titles on a vast array of devices including the iPhone, iPad, Xbox, PS3, Wii, Apple TV, and more. As a Netflix Unlimited member, you can watch as many movies and shows as you want anytime you want and there are no late fees or due dates. For a limited time, as a new member and a Ties I Help viewer, you can get a free trial if you just go to Netflix.com slash tie and sign up now. Make sure to use that URL so they know that I sent you. Almost forgot. Peace.